Hi, how are you? Here is my most recent creation. It's a 3D printed brushless motor. This is not my first motor. Maybe you have seen in my other videos that I already constructed another model for MakeZ. Based on that knowledge I've now created a fully redesigned version. All the main parts are still 3D printed except magnets, copper wires, ball bearings and some screws. The new motor is clearly larger, much more powerful and also more efficient. The larger forces require several design changes compared with the MakeZ motor. However, the most interesting modification is the arrangement of the magnets as holdback array, which I will explain in a few seconds. Let's first have a quick look at the performance. The motor is connected to a 30 volt battery. With a 20 inch propeller it draws 20 amps and rotates approximately with 6500 rpm. The system efficiency including the ESC is 80%. In order to calculate this efficiency I've measured the input voltage and current at the ESC, the rotation speed and the torque at the motor. Let's now inspect the rotor. It is 3D printed and has slots for fitting the magnets. As initially mentioned, the magnets are arranged as holdback array. Neighboring magnets are rotated by a 90 degree angle and after four magnets the pattern is repeated. The effect is an augmented magnetic field on one side of the array and a much weaker field on the other side. If you want to learn more about the holdback array, you can find a great article in Wikipedia. The rotor has the stronger side of the array oriented inside towards the copper wires of the stator. Before creating the final rotor I've made this smaller version with some spare magnets in order to check the construction. The magnetic field viewing film shows the orientation but not directly the force of the magnetic field. Compared with a regular arrangement of the magnets, the field inside the rotor appears to be more extended than outside. In contrast to a regular holdback array, the section of the magnets in this motor are not square but rectangular. Maybe my array is a bit less effective, but it helps to reduce the total weight. The main magnets of the rotor are 40 mm long, 4 mm thick and 10 mm wide. The rotor has 18 poles and the diameter at the air gap is 81 mm. The forces between the magnets push the smaller magnets radially against the outer wall of the rotor and the larger magnets are pushed towards the rotation axis. Because I couldn't find 40 mm long versions of the small magnets, I replaced them by two shorter versions. These are laterally repelling each other and as long as the rotor lid isn't closed, the magnets sometimes can slide out of place. With such a large rotor made of 3D printed plastic, it is not a good idea to support it only on one side. The centrifugal forces could cause wobbling on the unsupported side. For this reason the new design has an additional large ball bearing. The screws for the stator mount and the copper wire connections are fed through that ball bearing. The stator core has 54 slots for the copper wires. Like the MAXI motor, it is also printed with magnetic PLA from Protopasta. The ferromagnetic material reduces the rotation speed and increases the torque, but I don't know how it affects efficiency. Maybe I'll test that later. The special designed headers at the side of the stator teeth are guiding the overcrossing copper wires and simplify the manual winding work. The winding pattern is fairly simple. After winding the first three coils, the scheme becomes obvious. There are variations possible with the number of turns and the wire cross section. This allows to adjust the nominal voltage to the desired application. The four threaded rods not only clamp the two pieces of the stator mount together, but they also serve as a reinforcement for lateral forces executed to the shaft. 
Finally, these rods are used to mount the motor on a chassis. The motor is a regular brushless DC motor and therefore the three wires can be connected with a regular ESC. For more information how a brushless motor works, I again recommend to browse Wikipedia. The new design demonstrates that it is possible to scale a 3D printed motor to different levels of power. Actually, I find it quite impressive that a motor mainly made of plastic can perform almost with 1 kW. With all that power, it is possible to drive an e-bike, a skateboard, RC planes or cars or many other devices. I hope you like to support me and my work. And maybe you want to make your own copy of this motor. For this reason, I will be selling the STL files for a reasonable price. I'll also provide a parts list for the required hardware like magnets, ball bearings and copper wire with sources where to buy it. And there will be detailed assembly instructions. Please check the links in the video description.